Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and today I'm here to talk to you about Yorkie puppies and bringing home your Yorkie puppy. So first of all, I know it's the holiday season and so many people have asked me if getting a Yorkie puppy is a good idea for a Christmas present. First of all, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you are planning on gifting a Yorkshire Terrier for a Christmas present, I'm going to tell you that even though they are adorable and you might love them, they are a big undertaking and I think that they are not something that you could ever or should ever give as a gift because they are real living creatures and you really need to be prepared. You need to have a plan for how you are going to take care of your Yorkie, who's going to walk it, who's going to be responsible for vet appointments. So, no they don't make a good holiday gift, but if you and your family have already talked about it and you have decided that bringing home a Yorkshire Terrier puppy is the perfect thing for you, I want to get you prepared because there are more things than you would realize when you're bringing home a puppy and the better prepared that you are, the better transition your puppy is going to have. And this is a really important day for your puppy because it has lived with its litter mates and its mom for its entire, hopefully 12 weeks, as that is the age that you should actually bring your puppy home. And so this is a big transition and you just want to make sure that everything goes smoothly and you do everything right. So here are some of the things that you need to know about bringing home your pup. The most important thing to do before you bring home your Yorkie puppy is to actually puppy proof your home because puppies are just like babies and they will get into anything and everything. So you're going to want to get electric cords out of the way. You're going to want to have a spot that you can actually contain your puppy when you can't watch it. I like to use the Iris playpen or the puppy apartment when I get a new puppy, just because there are certain times when you're showering or you're on the phone and you just are not going to be able to watch your puppy. Any choking hazards, things like that, those should all be off of the floor because puppies are just like babies. I mean, they are babies. Their baby dogs. One great thing that you can do to help your puppy to transition into your new home is to actually ask the breeder if it would be okay to send either a special blanket or toy that can be with your puppy before you take it home so that when you take your puppy home you can actually give it something that smells like its home did. So dogs of course are really focused on smells and if you have a blanket that was with the puppy and its litter mates and things like that it's going to transition more easily because it's going to feel really familiar. I mean, can you imagine being taken away from everything that you know? It would be such an extremely frightening experience. So one thing that puppies often do when you first bring them home is they make a whole lot of noise. And the reason that puppies are actually doing this, and it's, it's a little bit sad, but they're actually, they're calling out to their, it, it's sort of like a pack thing, and they're calling out to their pack and they're letting them know that they are separated, they are in distress, and they basically want someone to come and save them. Now, there isn't a lot that you can do except to make your puppy comfortable that day, but please know that your puppy is not being bad. This is a natural instinct in dogs, and it's going to do this regardless. I've had every single dog that I've ever adopted cry the first night and it will break your heart, but it is a very normal thing. Are you finding value from this video? I really hope you are. As a 20 year Yorkshire Terrier owner who has had five Yorkshire Terriers in my life and has spent a great deal of time researching, I love to bring the things that I've learned to you to make your transition with your companion even easier. If you're enjoying the video, please go ahead and hit that like button right below and subscribe to my channel. I have so many great videos coming out and I would also love for you to comment below and just let me know, do you have a New Yorkie puppy or are you thinking of bringing home a Yorkie puppy soon? Please let me know if you have any questions about the process and things that would make it easier. One book that I recommend to everyone before they bring home their Yorkie puppy is a book called The Art of Raising a Puppy. This book is amazing. I highly suggest that you read it before you bring your puppy home. 
and it will really just tell you things from your dog's perspective because a lot of things that people think that dogs are doing wrong are just their natural instincts. So if you learn to work with their instincts, you will be so much more successful. If you check in the description below this video, I'm going to actually link to this book so it's really easy for you to find. Before you bring your puppy home, please make sure that you have pet insurance. I use Trupanion Pet Insurance and I have had an amazing experience with them. I had a very sick dog and they never let me down. It's not the pet insurance company that you absolutely must use, but I think it is an amazing one. I'm also putting a link below this. You are going to want to make sure that you have the same exact food that your puppy has been eating at the breeder's house or kennel or wherever the puppy was. This is really important because Yorkshire Terriers have very delicate little stomachs and if you do need to make a food transition, you should never do it all at once. Normally what I do is I introduce about a quarter of the new food for a few days and then I move it up to half and then three quarters and then I make the entire transition. If you do this too soon, your puppy's going to get very sick and little puppies don't really have much substance to their bodies, so you have to be very careful and gentle with any of the changes that you make. Make sure that you have a tiny harness to be able to get your little Yorkie puppy used to walking. I like to use buddy belt harnesses. They are great because Yorkies have a very delicate trachea, so you don't want to just have a collar on that you are walking your puppy with. As another safety thing, I usually keep a cat collar with a bell for my Yorkie puppies just so that I know where they are because they are underfoot and they move really quickly and you have to be careful not to close a door on them and not to step on them. I also take attendance before I leave my house because I have had a Yorkie silently slip out the door with me and fortunately I noticed, but it could have been a bad situation. Yorkie puppies are one of the most amazing things I have ever had the experience to spend time with. Bringing home a Yorkie puppy is wonderful and you know the more prepared that you are, the better the experience that it will be. The most important thing though before you bring home a puppy is to know that this is a lifetime experience for better or for worse. And there are going to be times where you know you just have your dog and you're you're enjoying it, it's healthy, it's going places with you, and there are going to be times where Maybe your dog doesn't do what you want it to do, or maybe maybe it's getting really old and it's really sick, and you have to be prepared for all of those times because a puppy is not an accessory. So if you, if you are not ready to deal with your puppy for better or worse, then please reconsider getting a Yorkie puppy because they do not have a choice for where they wind up and they can't take care of themselves. So if you are not going to be able to take care of them forever and you look at them as an accessory, they are most definitely not the animal for you. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I have more coming up soon. Happy holidays and I hope you guys stay healthy and stay beautiful and I will see you soon.